What's up everybody? Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this custom uh, dais for the Black Series Job of the Hut. Uh, I've been making these things since the day you released, but I just haven't really had much time to get a video filmed and reviewed and stuff because as soon as I started posting them, I started doing commissions and all that stuff. I've been pretty busy with them since then. Like, I got two of them right here. <laughs> but anyway, just give you a closer look here. Like, look, like the, it's totally, completely textured everywhere to kind of give it that stone look. I'm going to take this off there and give you a look at the design on the top. Kind of based more off of the uh, Sideshow Collectibles dais as far as like design goes. I don't like the scattery lines of the vintage old vintage toy look I don't know it just looks awful to me for some reason I mean not knocking anybody that does like that or has done that or whatever but that's just not me tons and tons of texture all over this thing and I got the handles this one here I've I haven't grimed up the uh, hand these little rings yet like if you look at this one like they're a little dirty my lighting sucks right now, I guess. Everything's been hand and airbrush painted. Based in brown and given some different washes. A couple different washes and several different. Even got the lines on the back there. Still got to get the bottom of this one. I normally just paint them black and sign the bottoms before I send them out. I'm trying to come up with an image to a simple image to airbrush on there. I'm designing one, so eventually, so, oops, sorry about my finger there. Eventually, the bottom will have some sort of like decoration on there or something probably, unless unless the customer doesn't want that on there. Sorry, I'm really shaky today, fellas and gals. Sorry about that. Just uh, then I got this custom little blanket. It's been dyed, painted, and weathered and airbrushed. Might see a little bit of pieces of lint in this one. This one's, or dust or something. This one's been in my cabinet. Then some uh, sculpted pillows. I didn't want to do it more like individual pillows because I figure it'd be, it's just, they'd be so like, I know they're static this way, but they look like they're doing something, like they're interacting with each other a little bit. I still need to hit these with the airbrush around the edges and hit some of the shadows and stuff, but. And then for mine, I made a different pillow. I have this uh, three and three quarter inch salacious crumb because I didn't get the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that came with the uh, hookah and all that stuff, unfortunately. But anyway, this pillow right here is just, I just sculpted a pillow and then shoved him down in there. I know it looks awful like that, but I want him to look like he was like sitting inside the pillow like it was around his heels and his butt a little bit so I just went ahead and sculpted the pillow and just kind of like shoved him in there for that one if he's sitting down it looks fine under his foot maybe a little wonky but when are you going to be looking under there so it's not so so bad anyway I guess let's put the star on there and go ahead and throw Jabba up there I did make sure to make this big enough to fit the armrest and hookah too. Um, if I could find the, well, what happened to my lighting here? If I can find the picture from the customer on Facebook, I'll post it at the end or whatever. But it does fit the. Like there's some room. You scoot him up a little bit. There's some room back there, and all around the side for that. And he's still got some room everywhere. But I like to sit him back a little bit anyway. But. And man, this thing really makes this Leia figure look better. I can tell you that right now. Because she really needs some help. Throw up this little dog there. That's 
in the movie Bubo or whatever. I can't remember the name of this little character. So that's what I kind of put in place of my uh, hookah and stuff is that little dog there. Kind of something to just like fill up some empty space on there. Not completely accurate handles because the, uh, an the animal ornament on there in the movie is like one-eyed. So they're... This one's got two, so I'm like, camera's not focusing, but close enough for me. And can't forget the ones on the sides. I initially was doing them with only four handles because I didn't want to uh, take a chance on a customer, like, catching this on something and, like, ripping it out and, like, damaging the piece at all. So I kind of just went for four, but... I decided to screw it. I went with the real, like the more accurate looking handles. I figured I might as well top it off and just put the two on the sides as well. But uh, cool. Well, man, I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you're interested in uh, commissioning one or something like that, go ahead and uh, drop me a PM or get a hold of me on Facebook at Paint Samurai Customs. I'll put a link in the description on there. There we go. The yellow lighting. Oh, man. There it is again. But yeah, check me out on Paid Samurai Customs on Facebook. I'll link that in the description and all that good stuff. Come by, check out. You want to learn how to make stuff like this yourself or something, go ahead and come by on Facebook and check out the group Dio Structure. I'll put a link for that also in the description. Lots of great artists there. I mean, if something I'm doing or whatever is not up to your liking or something, there's plenty of artists there that could be that could satisfy you, I'm sure. Doing tons of different stuff over there. Fun group. Always positive. I, we don't have any negativity in that group. Tons of constructive criticism. It's the best group I'm on on Facebook. That's for damn sure. And real quick before we go, I'll give you guys a little peek at what I'm going to be reviewing next. This piece right here. The... Carbonite Dio I was working on the other day. I'm also taking commissions for those, so if you're interested, get your orders in. But all right, cool guys. Well, take it easy. Have fun. Check out all the check out the Dio structure. Ugh, sorry, Dio structure group. <laughs> and I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.